Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's, oh, you see that mood lighting? It was totally accidental. I'm not that technically advanced when it comes to filming. I literally just push the button on the camera. That's pretty much all I know how to do. All right. Libra, let's get into your reading. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading. This is the full oracle card spread here. If you want the complete tarot card reading, the extended link is in the description box below, including the love and romance predictions for the week. But you also have the romantic tarot pop right ahead. You can get a little bit of insight into what's coming next weekend towards you. Libra, this Libra, Libra, Libra. This is Libra energy. Libra, sun, moon, rising. This is Libra energy. So wherever Libra influences your natal chart, you can plug in these energies for the next seven days. Libra, remember, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. We are not Cinderella stepsisters. We do not try to make something fit when it doesn't resonate with us because that just leads to irritating comments that I really don't have time for. Not necessarily a Libra thing, but yeah, guys, you would not, you would not believe... You would not believe. I just sometimes I can't believe how much energy people put into what doesn't work for them. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a little odd how you wouldn't just kind of just let it pass by. Ooh. This is really interesting. Take the lead has come out as your crowning energy. I think you're contemplating your direction in life. There is a sense of, because it's, it's, it's backwards. In reverse, it is taking root, finding where you want to plant yourself. And upright is literally being tapped by spirit, almost like communication from spirit of finding your direction. But this was in between. So I feel like you, I feel like there is a contemplation, not necessarily knowing for sure or being certain. Um, of what your direction is or where you want to take root. Libra, we have this issue, right? I'm a Libra rising. It is very difficult because we see both sides so clearly. It is difficult for us to finally choose, to make that choice, even when it concerns our own passions, even when it's about discovering and finding our own passions. We get so influenced by what other people are into or what other people are thinking or what other people need. And I think that that blocks. No, it doesn't block, does it? It is who we are. It is our direction to find, to give other people balance. So it is that in between where we actually rule. It's Libra. If you look at the scales that represent the sign, we are not one side and the other. We are the center. We are the scale itself that helps to point out where there is imbalance. And so this week, there seems to be that really, really huge calling. And I think it's because of this Aquarian uh, new moon energy um, sort of filling you up, right? Uh, accentuating that air ability for you to see clearly where others can't and it, if you find yourself sort of in the center over the next week in the center of a lot of craziness it's because you're meant to be there it's not because you deserve it or because it has anything to do with anything but those are the situations that need you most to help things level out and to use your ability for a greater good and i'm talking about this would be you know, you at work being the the voice of compromise or the voice of reason. This would be you being that family member that says that it helps one side understand the other and both sides understand each other. There is that call to understanding your place on a larger scale. That's the energy crowning your reading this week. No small energy, Libra. But it is where you belong. It's not something that you're not prepared for. Whew. Libra, Libra, Libra. Lots of things coming out. Caught in the past. Or influenced by the past. Maybe being tethered to something that is 
still like it almost like being tethered to something that still is holding your roots where they don't want to be anymore because it's almost like you've decided to move on but you're not allowed to or somehow it's almost like the morality of the situation is denying you the right to do so um there's a lot of reversals here this is you feeling torn apart and upside down um hold on interesting energy the abundant universe will provide no there's a huge sacrifice that you're being asked to make and it could be of the your very security um hold on let's keep getting because i don't want to assume too much from one card you are never alone a huge sacrifice you have to make for the sake of home and hearth and happiness or somebody else's happiness Okay, slow and steady wins the race for emotional security and stability. Somebody else needs you. Somebody else needs you and is expecting you to stay even when you want to go. Open to infinite possibilities. This is your star card, the central energy. You really do want to be in the spotlight, but this is also Aquarian energy of truth. The truth is going to come out Aquarius. I mean, it's not Aquarius, Libra. The, the, the Aquarius energy is going to bring out the truth and it's going to shine this light, the truth about who you are, that you're sort of yourself. And I think like you're, you're, you're being bought into the spotlight to some capacity. Hold on, hold on. There's a lot out here, a lot out here. Um, reclaim your power, something that's making you feel drained, a circumstance or a situation that's making you feel like you've lost yourself um, and you're stuck in an old situation that won't let you move forward. Um, time for a deep dive, uh, almost like, it's almost like you're stuck in the shallows. You're stuck in the beginnings instead of being allowed to move forward and then you're being pulled back based on the good uh, uh like what's best for others because of what's best for others or because of what others want or desire or a pace that somebody else has set take a leap of faith Ooh, this is interesting this is almost like a shot in the dark uh, an opportunity that arises or a thought or an idea that arises that says to you, leap now or forever hold your peace. Truth transcends illusion. Uh, this is more Aquarian energy of the truth revealing itself and the truth coming out. In other words, whether you like it or not, here it comes. The truth of what's really important to you, Libra, is coming out. Um, trust in divine detours. This is the energy of creation because it adds up to seven. Something is going to be presented to you this week. It's just going to be presented to you. And I feel like it's going to almost look like a light in the dark. Um, almost like a lifeline. Because where you are right now, it's almost like yourself, who you are, is keeping you stuck in a circumstance or a situation where you're obligated to continue to ride out the stream of what is better for somebody else. But centrally speaking, it's ready, it's time, you're, you're ready. Or maybe some somebody else. It's almost like, I don't know, this could be a reversed scenario where you're drawing on somebody else's energy and they've had enough. Like they're the ones that are helping you shine and they're starting to feel diminished and dead inside. Like their life isn't going anywhere. Take time out. Um, you want some sort of escape. You want some sort of break. Hold on. Make your dreams real. Now, this is manipulative energy. Um, have you or somebody else, this is basically the energy of you or somebody else, whoever, whosoever's energy this is, because we can always reverse it, right? This is the energy of somebody essentially saying, I'm taking a break from you in order to manipulate you. Like threatening to leave someone in order to manipulate your sensitivity and proclivity toward wanting to make people happy and wanting to help other people out. Wanting to be a good thing, wanting to be a helpful thing. In other words, somebody is, this is major guilt trip. Somebody is trying to make you feel guilty for moving on with your life and stepping into the spotlight and it's working. It's got you stuck rooted where you are knowing where you want to move forward that's exactly what's happening that's the energy and i really feel 
like, you know, it, it's almost brought you to this point, Libra, of because you've been struggling with this. This has been a, a constant pull sort of on who you are, sort of, um, you know, trying to find that balance, try, you know, trying to find that balance between what you're considering to be right and wrong. And maybe this is the thing, Libra, it, it, it's not about right and wrong because right and wrong is different than balance and unbalance, right? Balance and unbalance is good and bad. Right and wrong can be kind of subjective and they usually are subjective to what's right and wrong for a person. So this week there is a clash between what somebody else wants and what you want and how they're manipulating energy to make you feel guilty about wanting what you want. And the truth is, it's like, the truth is it's it's working. So there, this has to be somebody who affects your life a good deal. It could be a partner, it could be a child, it could be somebody who you feel obligated to, some sort of family member, just making you feel like, like, yes, yes, the, 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 the two things that the both of you want are clashing, they're colliding, but they don't feel bad that they're like, understand this. And I, and I think I need to point this out to you because you're so fair and balanced minded. They're not sitting there feeling guilty that what they want is clashing what, what's with what's right for you. They're just assuming that you are going to assimilate into what they want so that because what they want is right. And understand Libra, as usually you can get dragged into that energy. You can get, you can get caught up in it. Like, yes, what you want is right. And you can, you can be too accommodating. And because of that, there isn't, so there's definitely a history with this circumstance or situation, even if it's work, even if it's your boss, there's history with this circumstance or situation. Um, um, yeah, there's, there's a past and it's almost like they know, um, they, no, 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 not they know, they expect, they expect you to go along with what they want. In other words, there must have been some behavioral pattern set by you to always go along with them. And the issue is you're at an impasse now. This divine detour, this lifeline that's thrown with you, thrown at you is saying, hey, Libra, come out here, be the star. You're the one that can make the breakthrough, but leave all this other shit behind. And it's almost like you really want to take it, but you're almost not going to take it because, because you, 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 you might, you, you, you are, you are teetering on not taking what could be the biggest opportunity of your life because somebody else is making you feel bad about it. Hold on. I want to flip the camera around and there you go. See this, and this is what's telling me, this is what's telling me that there is an energy here that's almost like being defensively aggressive. Like take time out. Somebody or somebody is trying to keep you from walking away from them and taking time out or taking a break. But it's almost like they're trying to pull your strings. And in order to keep you where they want you or in order to, in order to make you not walk away or they're, it's almost like they're, they could be threatening you with walking away and taking time out of this relationship, which makes you feel like you're failing. It makes you feel like you're failing, but the truth is you are not failing. You're not failing at all. This is definitely a much more personal situation than I imagined it to be. This is the week of choosing. Do you want to serve your higher purpose? Do you want to serve your largest and fullest potential? Or you want to be in, in constant service to somebody else and their dreams and their dream fulfillment? Because I'll tell you right now, these people in your life, even if it's your boss, doesn't have to be your husband or wife, but these people in your life are not going to relinquish the asset that you are that easily. And in some cases, it might seem like they feel like you owe them. You owe them because they put a lot of time and energy and effort into you. They feel drained after what they have contributed to what they feel is your success. And now it's like, pay up, you owe me. And you didn't realize that that was a, an I owe you because you felt like you were compromising on other things. 
So this is a conflict of interest on both sides, but it's almost like they're, they're, they're able to manipulate you into thinking that you're the bad one for leaving and moving on. And sometimes Libra at the, the end of the day, we have to just make the decision. Maybe I have to be the bad guy because not because we really are, but because that's what we settle on. That's the label we settle on for ourselves. Um, and, and it's the only thing that we can do to sort of let go and move on and then pick it up later and, and reconcile it inside of ourselves. Because here is two Aquarius uh, cards. There, there is a, a bigger purpose. There is a bigger opportunity coming through for you this week. And the, the balance that you're struggling with, the decision that you're struggling with is that do you maintain your face and your look of, I want to be a good person and say no to it? Or instead, do you go ahead and just grab it and take it and, and follow it, um, leaving somebody almost ravenous and very angry behind? So let's go over to Tarot. I'm going to expand this reading, expand it and see what the way forward is, and then also do this love reading. And it could actually clarify a lot of that's going on because there is two cards here that really indicate this is a strong relationship, something that you either love, like a job that you love, but it's a very, it, it's probably a very personal relationship, maybe something that died a long time ago, but just keeps holding on. And it's, it's, it's shallow. It's like a, a it's a shallow it's a shallow version of, of itself, of what it used to be. And yet it's, it's kind of stagnated. It's keeping you in place because it continues to drain you. It's almost like draining blood from you to like, you know, put into a corpse. It's like, it's all it's doing is reanimating and it's not necessarily really alive anymore, but there's a little part of you that would feel like a failure if you didn't keep giving this little sort of blood donation every week. I, I know that sounds weird. Let's go over into tarot. The link is below Libra. I'll see you over there.